going down, y'all. Y'all know who it is. It's D West Enterprise. We got those shirts. A lot of you guys have been asking on Facebook, Instagram about the shirts. We got different color shirts, different logo colors. We even got jackets. We can make it happen. So hit me up. I appreciate y'all for supporting the brand. D West for life. What's cracking, everybody? Just wanted to uh, touch base, give you all a public service announcement. I am a carpet cleaner, not a house cleaner. So I know a lot of you guys want to see vacuuming like crazy, but my main job is, is really to clean the carpet of this dirt. So it's kind of hard for me to even just give you guys a lot more vacuuming. Um, and I hate to say it, but I, you know, if you guys are looking for just straight vacuuming, uh, you're on the wrong page. I mean, I'll throw in, you know, some vacuuming once in a while and, and get a little bit of it, but yeah, you're not going to just see straight up vacuuming. Um, I know a lot of other cleaners would do it. You know, they'll, they'll throw in 45 to an hour of just straight vacuuming, but that's not what I do. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there as a public service announcement of the D West Enterprise. But uh, let's get into this video, alrighty? Cracking y'all this Darren D West Enterprise. Got a nice one for y'all today. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, y'all. So we got uh eight chairs like this, wing back chair. It's terrible. Got some stains on. Also some uh, discoloration, some fading. You can see some light spots. That's where they. Uh, spot clean themselves. Let's see what we can make happen. Alright y'all, so I know it's a little loud in here, but it is what it is. Um, all I'm doing right now, I don't have my uh, pressure hose hooked up for the solution. I'm just drive back. And look at this. They never vacuum these ever. There's probably so much dust all in there. It's very essential that you guys Pre-vac. If y'all don't pre-vac, all you're doing is turning that dust into mud. So I already did this, this one here. Now you do see some things, uh, it's kind of hard to see it, but that's mainly because it's wet and you see the stuff behind it. Uh, this for sure was not there once I, uh, before I sprayed, once you spray, it just shows a lot of the stuff in the back, okay? Um, if you're looking at this, you can definitely see where the color differences, the fading, 
But the nice thing is it's all even and uniform. You'll see some darker areas around the seams where it's kind of harder to, uh, to dry. Same thing here. So you got a little bit of a, a darker area just, just where the seam is at, probably the, uh, the backing or the extra material of that there. And once I'm done, what I like to do is brush it all one way or wipe, whatever you want to call it. You could use a brush, you could use a, a microfiber towel and then just brush all one way so it looks nice and uniform. I'm going to show you guys on this here, the way this reacts to, uh, <coughs> to water, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, or any type of liquid. So when you spray it, it's gonna look like it's gonna look like shit. I'm spraying pretty heavy. I also have a uh, a higher pH uh, cleaner because. This stuff is pretty soiled. I can see it. So what we'll do is we uh, we just get situated here. it a little bit or whatever wipe it 
This didn't budge. So yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of them. I'm gonna flip this one over, do this, and then just finish this real quick. But I'll show you guys uh, one of the shells. Uh, I'll show you guys one of these. But man, you can see they're all faded, missing the color. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a second. All right, so I already sprayed this one down. You can already see stuff that just pops up that we never even saw. Uh, you really won't see it once it's dry, but we got some soul glow going on up in there. This is just a, a, a heavy spray, but let's see what I can do. I'm going to get to you guys in a second. I'm going to do the scrubbing and then do the steaming. talking about it's all gone it's just when it gets wet cleaners are once they watch this video they'll say they would have did it this way they would have did it that way it's like ain't nobody ever happy i just posted a nasty video today and someone said i would have hit it with uh with purple power and peroxide like man, man you get the job you do it <laughs> and the crazy part is i got Good results. What you tell me? What's wrong with these fools? But it is what it is.
So I'm done with this uh, this shell here. So doing the same thing. Just brush it one way. I don't know how you guys clean, but I like uniformity. I like it to look, look like one. And all these little spots you see, they're gonna go away. This one's not dry all the way, but look up there, it's lighter. To my eyes, I can't really even see it. It's still wet though, but you'll see after after the dry if I'm still here. I'm pretty sure I'll probably still be here because I got I got eight to do and I'm only on two. But I already vacuumed the four of them already. So let's see how long it takes. I think it takes me about 15, 15 minutes. Cause you got, man, I'm not even showing sure I'm cleaning. Cause I like to, uh, to scrub them. See, look, these weren't here, but they're there now, but they'll go away. and make it happen. I just wanted to show you guys how I got my little setup. This is a, a exit common area or entrance exit common area of the apartment. So got my little blinkers out. Whatever you call these things, man. Binkers, blinkers, flashers. All that crap. <laughs> that way people don't come over here, slip, fall, bust a helmet. So yeah, anyway, one more man. I'm making it, making my way. All right, so all the green ones are done. Now we got four of these. Again, I know you guys hate seeing upholstery cleaning, but this is for, uh, you know, customers, potential customers and clients to see my work. All right, so if y'all don't like it, just go to the next video or wait for the next one to be uploaded. Well, I gotta do what I gotta do so people can see my work. Anyway, so, pretty soiled. And that's how it is with, a, with apartments. Like when you have a contract, what they do is they're not gonna clean stuff uh, until it's I mean, you see the, you know, this thing's faded. You got bleach spots. You got some spots that didn't come out. They're not going to clean it until it's pretty much uh, a thought of should we replace it or should we try to get it clean. So, so yeah, anyway, let's get it started. All right, so I already started scrubbing from the top. I just went along like that. And you can already see the difference. I mean, even though it, it does get darker when it's wet, but this does already take away a lot of the soil, you know, releases it. But I don't know if you guys can see, but there's stuff in there. These are easy. One thing, uh, if you guys do get chairs like these, you know how it has these uh, these buttons or whatever here? Um, on older ones, they can rust. So remember not to uh, really hit that bad boy up too much.
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little clean area and uh, I've just been wiping down that area, right? Because I can't really do too much. I mean, I can, but I ain't trying to take a chance around these buttons. Just go like so. Make sure you get these little edges, because right there on that edge, that's where it's kind of dirty. On the inside edge. So, I did that on all the chairs. So, these were the other two. Anyway, I'm going to do this last chair. I'm just going to put these in there. That yeah, one little spot I couldn't get out. But these are these are pretty simple. Anyway, this is Darrell D. West Enterprise. And y'all know how we do it. I'm out. Peace.